This is the Beretta APX A1 Compact. Can this slightly shrunken version of the APX hold a candle to the full size? <laughs> Will it rise above all the others like the Roman Empire? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Or will it fall short like eating anything from Olive Garden? I don't want it. I don't want it. Man. <laughs> and because I don't think we went hard enough on Italian references with the full size review, I'm going to shove even more garbage into this one. Five minute gun review, go. Hey, Range John. Oh, hey, Studio John. Have you ever heard of the Mag Shack? I think I heard about them in a TGC video one time. You should probably know about the Mag Shack. Oh, yeah. Why? Well, the Mag Shack does what the Mag Shack does, and you might need to know about the Mag Shack. Oh, you're being weird because of YouTube nonsense, aren't you? Yep. All right, I will look into the Mag Shack for sure. This gun is as packed with features as your grandma's Sunday gravy. It comes with three back straps. We were using the large as well as two 15 round clipazines. It's optic cut and although Beretta makes optic plates, you have to buy those separately. I also like that the fiber optic front sight has been rounded over to help prevent it from yeeting into the sea like lemons falling off the Amalfi coast. Ah! You can also swap the mag release around if you speak with both hands. Four and a half out of five Taurus on a Vespa. This gun fits my hand really well with the large backstrap. This gun fits my hand better than this one does. The only thing I don't like in terms of ergonomics is the takedown lever. It could really do with some better shaping or texturing to be used as a sort of gas pedal instead of being as flat as your attempted, uh, What's a, what's a flat Italian thing? Um, pasta? Four out of five breadsticks. The build quality on this gun is great. Nothing felt loose or sloppy like your mom on Limoncello. You're the best, and you're the best, and you're the best, and everybody's the best. And I do think that the finish on the slide is a bit thicker than I would like on this example, especially compared to the full screen version of the gun. We also didn't have a single malfunction. And we ran a combination of factory ammo from Remington, light hand loads meant for competition, and some super spicy hollow points from our friends at Black Belt Ammo. Check them out. 130 grain hollow points from Black Belt Ammunition, new company that's local to us. That said, the gun did feel a little bit snappier than the full-size version, which is to be expected, but I gotta mention it. Four out of five espressos, not expressos, espresso. The gun's accuracy, otherwise known as how accurate we can be with the gun, turned out as good as a properly made gelato. From about 10 yards, we were able to put down some reasonable groups, and even stepping back, we were able to connect when we did our part. We did have to drive the gun a little bit harder than the full size to be as accurate though. Big shout out to the Bushnell BXS250 Optic. I'm really enjoying that one. Four out of five cannolis. This Bambino of a gun has an MSRP of 499. That is the same as the full size and a bit less than a gun with, I don't know, similar features like a Glock 19. So how does it compare to those? Well, the trigger on the compact is a little bit like marginally better than the full size, but I think the full size shoots a bit smoother. So you're sort of trading a little size for a little muzzle flip, like when you get a smaller Calabrian chili that's more spicy than a big one. That's a spicy meatball! When we compare it to the G19, the Glock has slightly less felt recoil, but has way worse ergonomics and doesn't offer an optic cut on the base model like this one does. Let's be fair, Glock is out of touch with his customers anyway. For those reasons, the Beretta gets a solid four out of five pizzas. Pizza, pizza. Combine all that, and this thing gets a grand total of 20.5 out of 25 Italian stereotypes. If you enjoyed this five minute review, hit like and get subscribed to see more, and let me know what we should review next down in the comments.